though you may have a point. Today's wing ceremony has the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. That's why you're the reward. Look, I mean, look at them boobies and look at that ass and mm mm. I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students, but you've known him since you were both very little. You should know something I accidentally skipped. You see Harold in his loft wing, uh, sharing my phone, is ringing. What is this foolishness? Yeah, so Barton, I'm right in the middle of recording Skyward Sword. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. S -s Say hello to the audience, though. Good evening, world. Parker loves you very much. However, he loves me more with his very, very flat penis. It's made as hard as concrete. Thank you, world. Great evening. And there we have it. Okay, awesome. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, and, um... I hope you liked uh, Barton's message. It was probably um, full of stimulation. You see, Harold and his loft wings share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. Quite. Look, there's Superman. Fucking bitch. <laughs> As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. Like, by pair, I mean the fruit. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the uh, goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. Why am I posh now? My mouth is moving when I'm not talking. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. My mouth is moving again, and ah, but first meeting between Harold and his love wing was extraordinary. That bird fucking destroyed that boy, and he was in the hospital for three weeks. That bird came to him was a crimson loft wing. It's a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. You see, we'd hunted all these kind of crimson loft wings because they're extremely vicious and like to peck out the eyes of their victims. <laughs> and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Aw, shucks. Don't you recall when Harold and that loft wing of his first met? What a sight. Oh, look at that. Now the maiden is enticed by his handsomeness. The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. Just like his giant pulsing penis, nah, I'm not gonna go there. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with this bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Basically what I'm getting at is you two are destined to get, get it on in the sack. You understand? You're all daydreaming now. Okay, good. You probably are daydreaming about doing it, so that's cool. Oh, but who can blame you? <laughs> I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shade by sh shade 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 clearly shared by Harold and his bird. My eyes are closed because I'm Asian. Anywho, eh, sorry, derp. Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some nasty look sooner or later. Who who who? Laughing. Oh, she's enticed by that giant lump in his undergarment. Okay, this contest, calm the tits, calm the tits. This contest is nothing to laugh at, fa- Oh, sorry, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry, the co sorry, this is Zelda. This contest is nothing to laugh at, father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Harold doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Harold messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? What if I lose my virginity to- no. Calm the tits, my dear, calm the tits. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Harold. As if you have a snail trail. You get what I'm saying? Listen, Harold, you better f fucking fly your heart out today, you stupid bitch. Oh, look at the guy. His eyes are like, Jesus Christ. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, bitch. You'll thank me later. Dumb hoe. I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna force it on this stupid. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and... Sorry. Derp. Jump off the edge and call your loft wing. Herpa do peekaboo. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh, yeah. You can't sense your bird out there. <laughs> Don't give me that horse shit, Harold. Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel your way out of having to practice. You lazy fuck. Nice try. But you're not fooling me. Dun, dun, dun. Off you go. Okay, Harold, go ahead. Just press down and call your loft wing. And nothing's happening. Good job, dumb jit. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh. 
Oh, what? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This bird sure is taking a long time to get there. <laughs> Something's wrong. Oh, shit! And now we call the blue birdie. Blue birdie! Blue birdie! Wah! Autobots rolled out. <laughs> Hang in there, Harold. I've got you. Oh, and there's feathers that flew up from the landing. That's wonderful. Are you two all right? Zelda, I'm pretty sure that was a dumbass move. I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? Yeah, you're concerned about the bird, but fuck. Link could have died. Who cares? Sorry, Harold. What? Get the shit together. His name is Harold. This is very odd, Harold. What could have possibly happened to your... What is with my voice? Happened to your loft wing. For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. Shit's going down in the hood. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Harold? This is quite a problem. Especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. This is fucking... This is heavy. Harold, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. Yeah, bitch, that's right. You should have believed me. That's right. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. And ding dong, ding dong. Uh-oh. Guess what, Harold? Too late. You're boned. You ain't getting no bird. You're screwed. You don't, you don't get to snatch that snatch. See what I did there? My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Harold, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. Okie dokie. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, Harold. Sorry, but Father... You're the headmaster of the academy. If Harold asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come to you to talk about it. Dumb fucking idiot. Ah, oh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. I'm fucking retarded. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. Harold, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Whatever you want, old man. Whatever you want. I do what I want. Okie dokie. So now the talking portion is pretty well over. Um, there are some more talking parts, but for it's kind of action-y now, I guess. Oh, Harold. I'm gonna attend- <laughs> sorry. I'm going to tend to my bird and make sure he's not hurt. I'll catch up with you later. Go and see if anyone in town knows what happened to your loft wing. Okie dokie. <laughs> Harold, out. <laughs> Wait, oh god, no. Okay, there you go. We're cool. Delicious lime. Uh, okay, honestly, I wish some of the fruits in this game existed. Could you imagine if, like, there was a stamina fruit and it actually replenished your stamina? That would be fucking awesome. I would just be like, oh, I'm so tired. I can't work out anymore. No. Stamina. Just take a bite of the fruit and it's like a freaking splurge in your mouth. Um, what's wrong, here? What's wrong, Harold? You're looking a little pale. This, this is getting so ridiculous. What? Your left wing is missing? Are you murdered? Strange and troubling. Do you think I can, you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now. But how will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not. You can find that bird on time. <coughs> Excuse me. I see. So the, wait, what was that? I see, so the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately, you hurdy burgy. <laughs> I still owe you for helping me out earlier, but why am I... Fuck, I can't get the voice. What is with me today? I am sorry, people. This is atrocious. So don't worry... Focus. So don't worry about the... Fuck it. We're just giving him that voice. So don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. I'm Irish or some shit like that now. Don't even care, boy. <laughs> Who are you, lady? I don't men open doors for a lady anymore. How long am I supposed to stay in here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. Oh, it's you, uh, Harold. <laughs> Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing? Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at the school the whole time. 
Pippet is the one to ask about birds. I saw him downstairs a minute ago. Why don't you look for that asshole there? Okie dokie then, I will. Um, pooper duper. I can't really recall everything of what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I don't need to talk to Pippet actually. I know what to do, bitch. I don't need Pippet. I don't need no his. Don't need none of that. Don't need none of that. Oh, hey, little boy. Genius. You are a genius. You know what? I should just mimic you. And. Whoa! I didn't expect that! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Delicious! It's mine, boy. Don't even think about taking it. Or I'll cut off your dick and slap you across the face with it. Okay. Um. So, I think. Oh, who's that down there? Let's go say hi to them. Let's go. Who, who are these? Who are these people? I, I don't know who they are. It, it's a mystery to me. It's a total mystery. You know, Gruus, that sure was a pain, what with all that scratching and pecking. <laughs> Course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. I feel like, hmm, it's good, but I don't know. I, I think I have a new voice once he gets up. Look at me. Oh yeah, crack that. <gasps> Bitch, who you? Whoa, Harold. So, uh, yeah. Just how long have you been standing there? Hmm, maybe. I think I like the previous voice more. <laughs> What's your problem anyway? <laughs> oh wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. In bold red letters. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. Dopey, sorry, I'm retarded. That's right. They're pleading. Oh, Gruus, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Well, I don't think so, bitch. Cause I have yellow lip gloss. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. <laughs> My upper eyelids are really fucking creepy. Say, come to think of it, how come I didn't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? Ah, 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 ah. Ah, I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think this tiny, this tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. I really like it, actually. It's good. You lay off my dude right now, or I'll flatten you, motherfucker! Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town! Don't fuck. With Bruce. <laughs> that was actually pretty good timing. You know we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds and I'm black now. I'm black Roos. I don't know. I don't know shit. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already, you pansy th cunt d derp? Doop dopes. Do what's with that word in him? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who the fuck may you be talking about, Groose? Maybe I should give Zelda a black voice. Oh, uh, Zelda, hey. No, it's, uh, yeah, I think Zelda gets a black voice. <laughs> Bitch. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking up, you're picking on Harold again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. Uh, why do you insist on, oh, sorry. Why do you, <clears throat> pardon? Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Fuck, Groose. Yeah, uh, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You suppose what, bitch? Suppose what? Oh, erection? Uh, er, er, nostrils in your vagina. <laughs> Forget it. Oh, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Harold. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. <laughs> that could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. <laughs> gonna sit on clouds in that stance. And there he goes. The douchebag Biff Tannen himself. That's actually more Biff Tannen than, um, Pit. 
I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your life wing's disappearance. Harold, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. Cause I'm a sassy black woman. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird, okay bitch? Okay. Father said he'd talk to his truck a whole way about this delay in the style of wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. <laughs> I actually love the new voice. It's sticking. It's sticking. Onward, my fellow bluebird. You! Okay. Black screen and... Gorgeous! Okay, let's go. Um... Okay. So... Wait, did, did she say to talk to talk to Instructor Horror? Well, I honestly can't remember, but that's okay because I know exactly where to go. What is what is this? Looks like a few bulky, busty maidens here are talking about how their last porno went. Such a beautiful day, but we're too busy to enjoy it. Some things never change. Ooh. Isn't that the truth? The only thing my lug nut of a fucktard son is good for is sitting grease on his shirt. All I do is laundry, laundry, laundry. It never ends. I hear you, and I'm terrible at washing clothes. I wish I could get someone to do it for me. Like I said, busty big bitches talking about their previous porno. Laundry palooza. Or actually... <laughs> Hmm. I'm thinking of a good, um, point of view. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, oh hey, who are you? Let's say hello. Oh, look at this thing. Who knows how long this statue's been here. And it, and it only has one eye. Poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press something to look around that doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, what's this? It looks almost man-made, as if I weren't to go in here. What is this foolery? <gasps> I just saw vision. I may as well be Papa Smurf. I'm making vision potions. Okay. Beware of blood-sucking monsters. No kids allowed. Okay. I'm, I'm not a kid, actually. I'm kind of like 17 years old, I assume? I don't know. What age do you think Harold is? I don't know. But that's actually a good question. You never get revealed the age of the people. It's just guesstimation, I guess. Anyway. Oh, oh, it's Mia. Oh, hello, adorable. Hey, how you doing? Get the fuck! That's right. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm so mean. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone in this town is mean, so it's okay. Let's move the... Okay, Harold, get it together. Get it. There we go. Oh, come on. Jeez. Titties. Okay, jeez titties. Cheese, like like liquid cheese, not like kitties made of cheese. That would be kind of cool. Although I wouldn't bite them immediately. That would that would scare a lot of. I think my female viewers are clinching their butt cheeks together in very um unenjoyable pleasure. Uh, hey Harold. Over. Oh wait, what voice did I give him? I can't remember. Fuck. Over here. I give him that voice, the super excited bitch voice. I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice one. I think I've got voices down pat for everyone now. Um, so let's go get on this. Let's go see what this bitch is on about. And he's here with Fletch, which is wonderful. 